Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a nice start of your week so far. Got seven matchups on this NBA slate today. Um, you know, some pretty good games here. So before we get started, go ahead and like and subscribe, support the channel. And uh, if you guys love sports and you love sports betting and you love talking about sports, you want to join the private Discord server. Link is in the description, part of the Patreon. Um, you know, going to be supporting a great channel and uh, I'd love to have you guys be a part of that team. Got a great active community and yeah, it's good vibes. And um, yeah, we're going to get right into it. Seven matchups here, starting with the Charlotte Hornets. First, the Detroit Pistons. The Hornets, 31 and 33, 33, 30 and 1 against the spread. The Pistons, 19 and 45, 32, 28 and 4 against the spread. Charlotte opening up as five and a half point favorites with the over under at 216 and a half. Last 10 games for Charlotte, 4 and 6 in their last 10. Detroit, Three and seven in their last ten. Um, you know, head to head, Charlotte ten and zero in their last ten meetings with Detroit. Kind of hard to trust Tr- Detroit here. You know, these teams did just play a few days ago with Charlotte picking up the one hundred seven to ninety four win. I think the same thing is going to happen here. You know, Charlotte getting Lamelo Ball back too definitely helps them a bit. You know, give me Charlotte minus five and a half. You know, I'm going to take the under 216 and a half as well. Next matchup, we have the Phoenix Suns versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Phoenix 46 and 18, 39, 24 and 1 against the spread. The Cavs 21 and 43, 24 and 40 against the spread. Phoenix opening up as eight and a half point favorites with the over under at 214 and a half. Last 10 games for Phoenix. Seven and three in their last 10. Cleveland, one and nine in their last ten. You know, Phoenix playing, you know, unbelievable basketball. Sixteen and four in their last twenty. For some reason, though, they are just two and eight in their last ten games against Cleveland. Zero oh and five on the road against Cleveland. Kind of surprising there, uh, but you know, Cleveland on a six-game losing streak. Zero oh and six against the spread in their last six. I don't think Phoenix is going to lose here, especially not on the road. Um, give me Phoenix minus eight and a half here and uh, going to take the under two fourteen and a half. and a half. They should have no problem beating up on this Cleveland Cavs team. Next matchup, we have the Brooklyn Nets versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Brooklyn 43 and 22, 33 and 32 against the spread. The Bucks 40 and 24, 30 and 34 against the spread. The Bucks opening up as two point favorites with the over under at 241 and a half. Last 10 games for Brooklyn, 6 and 4 in their last 10. Milwaukee, 6 and 4 in their last 10 as well. You know, these teams just played, you know, got a really great a really great game on Sunday with uh the Bucks picking up a 117 to 114 win. Super close game. It's going to be another super close battle here. Um Yeah, you know, I think it's going to be super close here. I, I, I'm going to take Brooklyn plus two. I think they're going to come out with more fire. Um, I expect I expect another battle. You can go either way on this one. It's just going to come down to the wire. But And I would rather take the free points with Brooklyn. And what's going to be should be a close game. Give me Brooklyn and give me the over 241 and a half. I expect more points in this one. Next matchup, we have the Dallas Mavericks. First, the Miami Heat. Dallas 36 and 28. 30 and 34 against the spread. Miami 35 and 30, 29, 34 and 2 against the spread. Miami opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over under at 214 and a half. Last 10 games for Dallas, 6 and 4 in their last 10. Miami 6, 2 and 1 against the spread. Or, I'm sorry, Miami 7 and 7 and 3 in their last 10 here. Uh, we know the Mavs battling some injuries. Porzingis is doubtful. Tim Hardaway Jr. is questionable. We'll see if he plays. Um, you know, the Mavs, 1-6 in their last seven against Miami here. 0-5 oh, on the road against Miami. Mavs coming off that bad Sacramento loss where they just haven't been able to beat Sacramento at all this season, which is crazy. Um, Miami 5-1 and one in their last six at home. 5-0 and oh at home against Dallas. 
obviously me being a Mavs fan, I'll be biased here, but getting the Mavs a plus three and a half seems pretty good to me. It's a lot of points, and we know how good we know how good Luca is going to be. And you know, I'll take the Mavs plus three and a half any day. Uh, feel free to go with the Heat based on the stats; they have been pretty dominant against the Mavs here. But um, coming off that Kings loss, you know, I think the Mavs put up a good fight here and get a win. Gonna take the Mavs at plus three and a half, and we're gonna go with the under two fourteen and a half. Next matchup, we have the Golden State Warriors versus the New Orleans Pelicans. The Warriors thirty two and thirty two, thirty and thirty four against the spread. The Pelicans twenty nine and thirty five, thirty and thirty four against the spread. Pelicans opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over under at two thirty four and a half. Last 10 games for the Warriors, 6 and 4 in their last 10. The Pelicans, 4 and 6 in their last 10. Um, you know, head to head, the Warriors, 7 and 3 in their last 10 meetings, head to head. Yeah, I just think getting the Warriors plus 3.5 here is a really good deal. Um, should, be a, should be a pretty fun game. And I uh, don't see any major injuries to report for this matchup. Um, yeah, I'll take the Warriors plus three and a half and uh, going to go with a high scoring game here with the over 234 and a half. Next matchup, we have the Sacramento Kings versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Kings 27 and 37, 29, 34 and one against the spread. The Thunder 21 and 44, 29, 35 and one against the spread. Sacramento opening up as five and a half point favorites with the over under at 230 and a half. Last 10 games for Sacramento. Five and five in their last ten. OKC just one and nine in their last ten. Um, you know Sacramento eight and three against the spread in their last eleven against OKC. Five and zero oh against the spread against OKC here. OKC you know riding and you know one and seventeen in their last eighteen. Just, I mean as bad as it gets. Zero oh and five against the spread at home against Sacramento. You know, don't don't love this matchup, but uh, going to take Sacramento minus five and a half here over this struggling Thunder team. They put up a fight against the Suns last game, but uh, I'll take the Kings minus five and a half, and we're going to go with the under two thirty and a half. Next matchup, we have the Toronto Raptors first the Los Angeles Clippers. The Raptors twenty seven and thirty eight, twenty nine and thirty six against the spread. The Clippers forty three and twenty two. 36 28 and one against the spread uh, Clippers opening up as eight and a half point favorites with the over under at 221 and a half last 10 games for Toronto six and four in their last 10 the Clippers six and four in their last 10 as well um, Toronto seven and three against the spread in their last 10 so they have been able to cover um, they are just two and thirteen on the road right now, so not playing well on the road. Gonna have a tough battle here with the Clippers. You know, Clippers seven and one in their last eight at home. Uh, I don't see any injury reports, so as far as as far as anything crazy happens, Kawhi and Paul George should be good to go. Um, you know, Toronto just plays very bad against really good teams and um, can't win against the good teams, but plays good against the bad teams. Clippers are a great team. Going to take the Clippers minus eight and a half here, and we're going to go with the over to 21 and a half. And that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Tuesday, and I will see you guys Wednesday. Have a good one.